Hi, Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Here we are back on the RV water leak, uh, the Beaver. I'm um, gonna show you what I've done so far. A lot of tedious scraping and all the stuff I got out of it, and the rotten wood uh, combination. So I've cleaned it up pretty good. Got all the whole rail clean. The major problem is right here. That's rotted. I'm gonna blow all this out. All right. And you notice this was already. Technically, it's supposed to be all the way down here, all right? That was that butt joint I was telling you about, and it goes up. So there's the foam right there, that white stuff. It's on the inside of the wall. All right, so we did our best. Okay, now we're going to blow it out, clean it up. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to go to the end of that window about another six inches past that there's no leaks there but i'm gonna get a good darn seal off of it and i still got a little bit of cleaning up down that strip this was all just dirty filthy um like this right here i'll clean all that but the important part is i'm going to pressure feed this once i blow it all out now be careful i'm gonna pressure feed it a uh material let me see Oh, let's be sure bond. There we go. Sure bond SB140. This stuff stays gooey and it seals and it flexes. Even uh, like the silicone. Some silicone don't attach to stuff. Uh, then I'll put like a, a silicone bead right along here. All right, folks, so you can see how much damage as there is. We're going to get it good. There's that other crack I was telling you about. Look, it went all the way down. It's a surface crack on the cap, so i got to drill a micro hole here, sand that down. Same way with that one. That's my next project, okay? So to stop this crack from happening, which is right... There you go. You can see it right there. You drill a small little hole, like a sixteenth, Okay. And then, look, it's got a crack here and a crack here. So this got this thing's got abused. Um, all right, folks, no need talking about it no more. Just showed you what I'm going to do. Remember, I'm going to blow all this out and get all that loose stuff out of there, and then we're going to start packing it. Now I'm going to let it seal up, or, or cure is what we call it. And uh, using mineral spirits to wipe everything down. I'll use alcohol. I, I go 70 to 90%, you know, because of COVID, that stuff went up. I used to get five of it for, for cheap, but mmm, ain't no more. Uh, but anyway, it'll come back down one day, hopefully. Um, so that's where we're at. I'm going to get my little air compressor started, blow that out, clean a little more of that, uh, go about another two feet down that strip, and we'll see what happens. All right, this is Jeff. Remember, there's been other videos prior to this. It's called RV Water Leak or water leak RV, some of that nature. It's uh, it's Sunday, um, what is it, I don't know, 4th, 3rd, yeah, October 3rd, I think, or 4th. All right, so I got to get this done because my wife wants to go down to the boardwalk, which is about an hour away, and, and we got to take a little bit of time. And it's, it's her birthday, Tuesday, so I already gave her her gift. Me? No. <laughs> All right. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Thank you. And uh, remember the motto of RV Diagnostics, you can tell I'm tired, um, is test, not guess. And the other one is, folks, please, safe travels. And may you campfire burn bright. I'm out of here to the next video.